Okay, we're going to be talking about C major scale and a harmonic minor scale in this uh, video. And I'm going to show you, try to show you two places to play the same scale. Uh, we have in the second position, here we go. It's two, four, one, two, four, one, three, shift, one, three, one, two, four, one, three, four, four, three, one, four, two, one, three, one, three, one, four, two, one, four, two. The shift. Is basically on the third string, second fret and fourth fret, one and three. I pick up my third finger as I slide and I shove this finger almost underneath it and slide it under. All right, and the same thing on the way back is I slide back and then add the third finger. Three, one, three, one. A good thing to practice. So that's C major scale, two octaves, right? on the next higher version. Okay. That scale can be played in one other place. C major scale can be played in the eighth position. And that is a stretched eighth position rather than our normal four frets. So one, two, four, one, two, four. I'll try to pull this finger out of the way so you can see a little easier. One, two, four, one, two, four. I, like I said, shift back up now into ninth position. One, two, four, one, two, four, two, four, one. One, four, two, four, two, one, four, two, one, four, two, one, four, two, one, four, two, one. That's exact same notes as you did here. Exact same notes, literally. The piano has one place to play it. We have two, sometimes more places to play the exact same notes. Um, cool. So that's your major scale and the fingerings that go along with it. <clears throat> Let's go over our harmonic minor scale, which now uses a uh, fifth position, our normal fifth position, uh, for the first octave of the scale. One, three, four, one, three, four, two, three. Uh, three, two, four, three, one, four, three, one. That's our harmonic minor, kind of like Halloween y scary music, also Middle Eastern music and uh, classical music uses the scale. It's kind of the darker. Um, more crazy, sadistic sounding scale, I guess. <laughs> it's up to you to decide, but it's used in a lot of stuff. It's used in Middle Eastern music, right? Used in like Hava Nagila and a lot of variety of styles of music, Balkan music, as well as um, Indian uh, music, too. All right, so this scale, uh, like that's the first octave, like we said, and on three. Uh, after that, you actually have to shift again to another position. So we're in fifth position now, we're gonna to have to shift to fourth position once we get to the third string. And one, two, four, two, three, one, two. Two, one, three, two, four, two, one, shift forward. Three, two, four, three, one, four, three, one. That's our A harmonic minor scale right there. You can play that scale in another place and that would be in the first position and you're gonna to have to end up shifting up to that note. But I'll show you when we get there. So fifth string, open, zero, two, three, same, zero, two, three, one, two, zero, one, three, zero, one, one, two. So you could slide. Two, one, one, zero, three, one, zero, two, one, three, two, zero, three, two, zero. Those are two different places you can play your harmonic minor scale. There are more places you can play C major as well as harmonic minor. Um, just to give you a little uh, practice on your C major scale, you could try to figure out where all the notes are for your C major scale on each string and identifying the note names. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Just up to the 12th fret, okay? You go to the next string, so... Um, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. Next scale, uh, on next string. So zero, one, three, second fret, fourth fret again. Um, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Uh, next string will be fourth string. D, E, F, string a b c d e f g a different fingerings can be used e f g a b c d e those are all the notes 
that are actually just in C major scale. And those are all just white notes on the guitar. It's a great thing to practice, go know, know where all those notes are at. And then basically anything we didn't play are one of the black notes, <laughs> basically. Yeah, either you know, F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, B flat, E flat, um, C sharp, you know, the black notes, the five black notes we didn't play. All right, I hope that's helpful. It goes through all the scales, um, two positions for two very common scales, harmonic minor and C major, the two most commonly used scales. Um, these are also, lastly, uh, movable positions. So wherever I take this position in the starting note becomes the new name of the scale. So if I wanted to play G harmonic minor, I would just put it down. This is my note A on my E string, A. That's why it's A harmonic minor. Now what if I wanted to make G harmonic minor? I just find the note G, E, F, G, okay. G harmonic minor. So this is a movable hand position that can be put anywhere. Um, here's the note D, right? D, D. Right, so you have, wherever you put this position, it changes the name of the scale. And the same one for the major scale. That's C, A, E, C. The next part of the scale, I wanted to do it in D major, I just go to the note D and do the exact same position. Or a pattern. Right. Now this video is a little bit long, but it has a lot of good information in it. I'd rather put it all in one video rather than make a bunch of short videos. I might cut it up though and make some you know clips or something too. Alright, I hope that helps and uh, yeah, keep on practicing.